Hello and welcome to C721 for 2024. Um, this module is lab based, there is no exams, uh, and it's 100% coursework. And uh, we have a session uh, Monday 11 till 2 and Tuesday 11 till 2, so that's six hours a week. Now, you don't have to attend the full six hours. Uh, those who do, I suggest, will do very well for themselves. Um, there's only really an expectation of about three hours a week. Um, and I've done this just to avoid clashes on people's timetables. So it uh, opens up the options for people. OK, so the module's all about electronic um, design and construction. So. Um, at the end of this course, someone would be suitable to go and work at a small to medium enterprise uh, in a private factory or something like that, and be expected to be able to design electronic products. Now, I think most people know that uh, electronic components are getting very small now, and uh, we encourage the use of uh, surface mount devices. So rather than through hole, although you will see through hole technology uh, during this process, you will be designing your own PCBs. Uh, you will be sending off the uh, Gerber files off to PCB way, and you will be getting your PCB back. And that's part of the process that you'll be grading on. Um, you'll be producing your PCB using a piece of CAD, and the CAD we're using is multi-SIM. Can you use um, another uh, piece of software? You can, but we can't guarantee we can support that. So I would stay with multi-SIM if I were you. Um, as I said before, we encourage surface mount components. Um, now, surface mount components are so small that it's very difficult to solder them by hand. Uh, that's why we have a pick and place machine and we have the robots and the microscopes and so on in, in the soldering room. Um, so of your three hour, each three hour session, what will happen the first hour for about the first four or five weeks I'll give you instructions on how to use multi-SIM, how to produce PCBs, how to run simulations, that kind of stuff. Uh, and then you'll go open loop in the next two hours and you'll get help from, there's another academic who'll be walking the floor with me and we should have um, a technical demonstrator and we should have a GLA in there as well. So there should be plenty of support uh, to lean over your shoulder and press the right buttons while you're learning how to do this. The module is 100% coursework, um, but it's two assignments. Uh, the first assignment, um, well, let me rewind a little bit. I'm going to give you in the first couple of weeks a kit made by Velleman to build a metal detector. And you're going to solder that up and get it running and have a bit of fun. It's not graded, but it's just fun. Everyone gets a kit. Everyone gets to keep it. Everyone gets to show the parents and the children and the rest of it. Once you've constructed that, assignment one is to take the circuit diagram of that and actually make your own PCB from it. You can't copy the PCB which comes with the kit because, well, you just can't because I won't want you to do it with surface mount. Once you've done that, you're going to test it inside multi-SIM. You're going to produce the Gerber files necessary to send off to PCB way. And then you're going to write me a formal report about what you've learned and uh, how you've tested the circuit inside multi-SIM and so on. OK, that's about halfway through the term. I grade that, you get your feedback, <clears throat> and uh, then you can move on to the second assignment. Now, the second assignment is a circuit of your choosing. Now, there's lots and lots of options. I've got big, long lists of different types of uh, designs, which I would suggest if you go too complicated, you'll never get it working in the simulator or the real world. And uh, if you go too simple, it's difficult for me to give you high marks. So you need to think very, very carefully about the type of circuit that you're going to implement. And you need to have a discussion with the academics inside the lab to make up your mind which one you're going to select. OK, so both of those are formal reports. If you look on the uh, web pages, you'll see uh, a detailed description of uh, how you write your formal report. And uh, hopefully that uh, will give you some idea about where the uh, where the grades go. Another very big thing in the lab is hand skills. So um, we get you soldering. Um, we get you playing with the uh, pick and place robot. We get you playing with the microscopes. We get you playing with the CAD software. 
Um, and we also get you prototyping on things like breadboard, uh, Vero board, uh, what I like to call rats nesting, where you just solder components together on the table without any medium, well, apart from the solder, uh, to join those together. Okay, now this module has an unusually high uh, average percentage, as pointed out by the external examiners. It's a skills module. And what we want you to come out of this is not this person's 10 times better than this person or that type of attitude. It's about you take away a skill. And that skill, the bottom line, is to take a circuit diagram and turn it into a printed circuit board, fabricate it, in other words, put it together, test it, such that it's ready for a commercial product. Okay, that sounds quite an undertaking in 10 weeks. If you look at the videos that I have uh, posted on the Moodle page, you'll see that I've got my own YouTube channel on there. And I go back to 2021, 20, uh, and there's videos of uh, lots of people having lots of fun in the lab. So that's what this module is about. I wouldn't, uh, what well, most students would say to me, that uh, being examined and so on is not fun. Um, but this is fun. This is a fun module. You come in, you enjoy yourself, and at the end of it, you put the hours in, you get a good grade, and you'll take away a valuable skill. I think enough said. Uh, I look forward to seeing you. Uh, we start, um, well, it's a week away from today, so that's the 15th. Uh, we're in Lab 8. Some of you will be in Lab 10, which is the adjoining room. Um, we've got about, at the moment, I think about 120 on the course. Um, so I look forward to seeing you, and uh, let's have a lot of fun.